Hi, my name is Anna Rubendahl. I am a freshman and I am from Marshall, Minnesota. And I went to Samuel Lutheran School in Marshall. Today we will be reading Jesus Failed His True Glory to Serve as Our Savior. Our devotion is based on Philippians 2, 6 through 7. Jesus Christ, who being in very nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be used to his own advantage. Rather, he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness. Six-year-old Lily could not sleep, stop talking about Christmas. As her grandparents talked to her via Zoom, Lily burst out, I can't wait for tomorrow. Grandma, you and Grandpa will be there, and we are going to sing in, in church and have a birthday cake for Jesus. And what do you think you'll get for Christmas, Grandma asked. Lily responded, I don't know, but I can't wait for you to see what I gave you. I can't wait for you to see what I gave you. Our Savior Jesus says the same thing to you this Christmas. What did he give you? Paul wrote, Christ Jesus, who being in very nature God, made himself self nothing by taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness. We cannot even imagine the glory of heaven, yet Jesus was the center of heaven's glory, the eternal Son of God. In eternity, the Father approached the Son with a plan. Son, the only way to save sinners is for you to leave this glory and become a human being. You have to shrink yourself into a woman's womb and be born as a helpless child. As you grow up, you must keep your divine nature so that you can be the perfect substitute for sinners under the law. Yet you cannot make, this, make full use of your divine nature and you must do the impossible, die for their sins. Such grace, human parents helped their omnipotent son. Religious leaders taught the omniscient one. He didn't say, well, they made this mess, they'll have to clean it up. He willingly traded his crown for a cross. This Christmas, celebrate Jesus' gracious gift to you. You could not know him without it. You could not convince of such a gift, conceive such a gift, not just because sin corrupts our thinking, but because Jesus' grace in Christ is beyond human comprehension. But he is yours, and so are his gifts, forgiveness, new life, and eternal salvation. Today, Jesus resides in heavenly glory he left behind, and so will you, we pray. Lord Jesus, help us to fill this Christmas with thanks and praise to you for giving yourself to be our Savior. Amen. Have a Merry Christmas.